shoulder surgery, as much as any other types of joint surgery, has evolved tremendously in the last 10 to 15 years uh, due to arthroscopic surgery and what I would say is truly minimally invasive uh, techniques for a lot of the problems that we see in the shoulder. Uh, when you see a, a, a full thickness rotator cuff tear, that is much more typical in somebody over the age of 45. Um, if we see somebody who has uh, shoulder instability where their shoulder is dislocating or if they have what's called a labral tear, uh, the typical person who actually needs a labral tear repaired or to have their shoulder stabilized so it doesn't keep dislocating tends to be somebody under the age of 25. So a lot of people can have abnormalities on an MRI. It's our job to decipher what's truly causing the problem. So basically, arthroscopic surgery, and we'll show you an example of how small the incisions are in a minute, you can actually take a tour of somebody's shoulder joint as you can with many other joints in the body and basically evaluate all the anatomy and try to determine what's normal and what's abnormal, what is torn, and quite honestly, what needs to be fixed to try to get them back um, to hopefully having less or hopefully no pain uh, with better function. This is the video clip showing uh, one of our arthroscopic rotator cuff repairs. Here's the tear off the bone, placing the sutures through the rotator cuff. And then this is what's termed the double row rotator cuff repair. And you can see that it can be fixed quite nicely through the scope. This is a very large rotator cuff tear. Many people think we can't fix the large tears through the scope, but actually we can see better through the scope in my opinion. And I tell people if we can't fix it through the scope, we can't fix it open. You can see all the sutures we can place arthroscopically. And again, this is the final result showing a double row rotator cuff repair performed in a very large tear in an outpatient surgical setting. So now, even though we can fix things arthroscopically, not just scope, but we can actually fix pretty much most things arthroscopically, you still have to respect the fact that it takes time to heal. And if you don't do the proper rehab, you're not gonna have the good result in the long term.